Hi, so in next few videos we are going to represent each of the trigonometric ratio in the form of other ratios. So in this video we are going to take sine and we are going to represent sine in terms of cos, tan, sec, cosec and cot. So before we start let me write down some relations between these ratios. One which we have learnt is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. This is actually the basis of all these conversions. So keeping that in mind if I divide both the sides of this equation by cos square theta I'm going to get sine square theta divided by cos square theta plus cos square theta divided by cos square theta is equal to 1 by cos square theta. Right? This sine square theta divided by cos square theta can be written as tan square theta because sine theta by cos theta is tan theta. Cos square theta by cos square theta is 1 is equal to sec square theta. Right? So this is the one relation and this is the another relation which we are going to use during these conversions. So let me write down this relation over here. The second relation which we got is tan square theta plus 1 is equal to sec square theta, right? Now let me erase this. So we will convert sine in terms of all other ratios and then we are going to write down all those relations in the form of a table. So let me first draw a table. So here we are converting sine in form of cos, tan, sec, cosec, and cot. As you can see this was our first relation. From here we have sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1, right? That means sine square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta or sine theta is equal to square root of 1 minus cos square theta. Right? This is the representation of sine in terms of cos. So let me write down here. Sine can be written as 1 minus cos square. And now I want to represent the sine in terms of tan. How to represent that? We know that tan theta is equal to sine theta divided by cos theta. Right? Yes? From here we can write sine theta is equal to tan theta multiplied by cos theta. What is cos theta? Cos theta is nothing but 1 by sec theta. So this can be written as tan theta divided by sec theta. What is sec theta? From here sec theta is actually square root of tan square theta plus 1. So this will be equal to tan theta divided by root of 1 plus tan square theta. So sine theta in terms of tan theta can be written as tan theta divided by square root of 1 plus tan square theta. So this will be tan divided by square root of 1 plus tan square. And now we have to represent sine theta in terms of sec theta. So how do we do that? See, we can actually start from here. So we have sine theta is equal to tan theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta. And here we have the relation between sec theta and tan theta, right? So tan square theta plus 1 is equal to sec square theta, right? That means sec theta is equal to square root of 1 plus tan square theta. That means this denominator can be written as sec theta, right? And now we have to write this tan theta in terms of sec theta. So we have tan square theta is equal to sec square theta minus 1, which will come from this relation. That means tan theta can be written as square root of sec square theta minus 1, right? That means the numerator will become square root of sec square theta minus 1. So this we can write down here. It is square root of 
sec square theta minus 1 divided by sec theta right and what is next next we have to write sine theta in terms of cosec theta we know sine theta is actually the inverse of cosec theta that means sine theta will be equal to 1 by cosec theta right this is direct and next is we have to write it in terms of cot theta so if we take this first relation which is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 and now if I divide both the sides of this equation by sine square theta I'll get this will be divided by sine square theta this will be divided by sine square theta and this will also be divided by sine square theta right so what do we get from here we'll get 1 plus cos square theta by sine square theta is cot square theta which is equal to 1 by sine square theta I'm keeping this sine square theta as it is right and from here we will get sine square theta is equal to 1 by 1 plus cot square theta and if I take square root of both the sides I'll get sine theta is equal to 1 by square root of 1 plus cot square theta so this is sine in terms of cot which is 1 by square root of 1 plus cot square theta right so this is the representation of sine in terms of other ratios and we have actually derived all these formulas and now since we know that cosec theta is equal to 1 by sine theta so we can actually write the relation between cosec theta and all the other ratios so let me erase all this here the cosec will be equal to 1 by square root of 1 minus cos square because cosec theta is equal to 1 by sine theta so if we take the reciprocal of all these expressions we will actually get the relation between cosec and cos and here if we take the reciprocal we will get the relation between cosec and tan that will be square root of 1 plus tan square divided by tan and this will be sec divided by square root of sec square minus 1 cosec theta is equal to cosec theta and cosec theta will be equal to square root of 1 plus cot square theta right so these are the relations between sine and other ratios and in the second row we have the relation between cosec and the other ratio and we know cosec is equal to 1 by sine theta and from there only we have derived all these relations right so in this video we have done the relation between sine and the other ratios and we have also derived the relation between cosec and the other ratio keeping in mind that cosec theta is equal to 1 by sine theta so that's all for this video and in next video we are going to learn the relation of cos theta and sec theta with other trigonometrical ratios so keep watching math smart and bye bye till then